Hey guys, here's a little a tutorial on Caravan that we were talking about in the group class. Um, sorry for the lo-fi quality here, but hopefully this will help you. Here's that C7 shape in the D flat 7. That'll be, you know, the basic shape you can grab for the rhythm guitar. We'll play that 16th note pattern in the backing track you'll hear a Bolero. Um, so again, what we were mainly talking about is this way of playing the harmonic minor scale by thinking to this one triad. In this case, I'll grab the C shape on the fifth fret. It looks like an you know A major or C major bar chord, and I'm just thinking these three, those three notes, and then going up half step. And of course, it's important to know all your inversions, so you can. here on the 8th fret. And again, all that trick is, I'm just grabbing it here because this one's the easiest. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. And that'll be played against the C7 chord. And when, when it resolves to the F minor, I'll either do an F minor triad here or here on the 4th fret or here. 8th fret on top, uh, wherever I happen to be at. And uh, again, what I was showing was this, or, or, those are the little uh, embellishments from above. If you were to come below, it would be, What's important is that you're visualizing these F minor triad shapes um, on those top three strings for now. Um, the other thing that you'll see me do is uh, these arpeggios on the C7 chord, and that's to grab the diminished 7 arpeggio on G, and that's just that diagonal. And again, that was for that, and I'll be playing around with that. And then when it resolves to the F minor 6 chord, we'll do this arpeggio. Same idea. And that was root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, or F, C. And again, with that, we're adding on a minor third, three frets, above the root, and then above the fifth, a whole step to the six and then taking it up three octaves. And then back to the C7. So that's the idea again for that A section. This is super slow, here we go. Eighth fret here, one. Sixth fret, one. You could even put a diminished triad there with that chord. One. That's the first fret. There's the F minor. Back up to the eighth fret, C. There's our shape. diminished shape a lot. Even here. That's that F minor 6 arpeggio for fun. This is as I wrote it, 1.
6th fret here, and then 1. Chromatic. There's that F minor triad on the 1st fret. So for soloing, I'm going to just base it on the C shape here. shape. There's an F minor. Back to the C shape. shape up here. Tenth. This is the B section. Notice the same ideas. B flat. Same idea. There's that shape. Here's E flat. That's an A fret. Very um, dark, that harmonic minor flavor. And then C. Arpeggio's diagonal. I'll do that again, third fret. Give it a lot of time. Notice that F minor. Back to the diminished. Notice the diagonal. Back to the C shape. And then this F minor 6. Sweetness of that major penta B flat. I'll do major. Then the E flat. Kind of that major pentatonic really sounds sweet. Back to the harmonic minor flavor. It's all visualizing the C shape. F minor. F minor. Back to the melody. As I wrote it. One. Add a diminished there chord. One, three, one, three, one. Chromatic. Back. C shape. One. One. 
here comes the B section, that chord melody style. Notice he's not swinging it. That wasn't last time. One. <laughs> Minor six. Cheers. <laughs>